Hello, my name is Sensei Alex Kakuyo, and I'm a teacher in the Bright Dawn Center of Oneness Buddhism. Today, I'll be t discussing the question, how do I get everything I ever wanted? Now, desire has a very um, bad reputation in Buddhism, and if we're being frank, I think it's deserved. The second noble truth of Buddhism says that suffering comes from desire. And the third noble truth says the way to end suffering is to end desire. Now, the counter to this often is that desire is a natural part of life, and I agree it is, but that's why suffering is also a natural part of life. They feed into each other in an endless chain. We desire something, we get it or we don't get it, that leads to suffering, and suffering leads to more desire. And it goes on and on and on in something that uh, psychologists like to call the hedonic treadmill. So, uh, if you still don't believe me, however, I'd like to tell you a little story uh, about my own experiences with desire. Uh, specifically with a car, a Ford Mustang. Now, I'd wanted a Ford Mustang since I knew what cars were. I don't know what it was, I just, I thought they, they looked cool, they were fast, uh, it was a muscle car. I didn't know what a muscle car was at the age of 11, but again, it sounded good. So I just really wanted the Ford Mustang. And this desire just grew as I got older and I learned more about them. And they're called Mustangs. They're named after wild horses. Who wouldn't want one, right? And I went to school, I graduated college, I got a job, I worked really hard, saved up all my money, and one day, finally, I did it. I got my Ford Mustang. And it was good. I was very happy for about a month. And then things changed, and it had nothing to do with the car. The car, like I said, was everything I thought it would be. It was fast, it looked good, I got the thumbs up when I stopped at stoplights. Um... But the new car smell started to wear off, and as that happened, I started to look at other cars, and, well, the Mustang is good, but maybe I want a BMW next, or, I don't know, maybe I want a, a Dodge Challenger, another muscle car, that, that looks good, and as this continued to happen, the car made me less and less happy, until one day, it was just a car wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just the thing with four wheels that got me where I was going as I continued to desire for what I thought were bigger and better things. And I think we've all had this experience at some point in our lives where we really wanted something and we got it and it just didn't live up to our expectations. Uh, didn't fill that hole within us like we thought it would. Or maybe we didn't get it, but either way, our desire led to us uh, experiencing suffering that we frankly didn't want, or didn't expect. Now, this may seem strange given the title of this talk, How Do I Get Everything I Ever Wanted, but I'm getting there. And the question I'd like to ask is, what would happen if we really focused, instead of getting the things we want, what if we focused on wanting the things we already have? So, for example, if we want a good car, or a better car, what if instead we thought about how much we like the car we already have? So the thought, I want a new car, pops into my head, and the next thought is, wow, the air conditioning in this car is really great. It's 90 degrees outside, and I am so cool and cold, and it feels good. Or we think, I want a new car, and then it turns into, Wow, the car I already have is so reliable. It gets me from point A to point B, and I never have to take it in for maintenance. And of course, we can do this for anything. Uh, a car, an apartment, a job. We just really change that desire. We don't get rid of it necessarily. We just refocus it so that we work on desiring the things we already have. We get what we, everything we want because we only want what we already have. And as we do that, we start to appreciate the things we have more and we have gratitude for our lives. And as that gratitude grows, our peacefulness grows. Because slowly but surely the desire that dies down and as the desire dies down, the suffering becomes less and our lives become better and more peaceful and more content as a result.
so that's the talk for today uh, just to rehash um, next time you want something see if you can train yourself to want what you already have and express some gratitude for that instead so I hope this was helpful if you'd like to hear more talks and you're watching this on YouTube don't forget to subscribe that way you'll be notified when I post a new one if you're watching this on Facebook or Twitter, don't forget to share or retweet this talk. That way we can all continue learning together. And if you'd like to read some articles I've written about Buddhism, you can do that at my blog, The Same Old Zen, which can be found at sameoldzen.blogspot.com. So, again, my name is Sensei Alex Kakio. I hope this talk was helpful. Until next time. Amitabha.